Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sahara with the Sky One Touch Power Soft Top in Hydro Blue Pearl Coat. I'm here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. This 2024 Jeep Wrangler comes with the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, puts out 270 horsepower, and it's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. It's gonna get you 20 miles per gallon highway and city for an average of 20 miles per gallon. This is the only engine and transmission combo that you can get on the Sahara package. And uh, I'm gonna go over all the options on this 2024. This is the new mid-model refresh and uh, I'll go over everything that has been refreshed on the Wrangler in this video. So definitely check us out for a while here and remember to like, subscribe and share to the YouTube channel. First off, you'll notice that the grill looks definitely different. Uh, it's a little bit shorter in the painted section. They, they're still about the same size. And I imagine that they would almost clip right in with a 2023 grill, but it's uh, a little bit narrower in the front as far as the painted look goes. You get these silver accents on there, which was pretty common on the Sahara before. And the other thing to note is this one comes with the LED headlamps, running lights, and fog lights. That is now standard on the Sahara package. So these fog lights and everything is uh, LEDs on there. I'm gonna turn those on at the end of the video, so definitely stick around for that. You get the painted fender flares and the painted hard top piece on there. You get special new wheels for 2024, and uh, you also get new center caps on there. These are 18 inch painted and polished aluminums. This one comes with Bridgestone Dueler HD tires. These are 255 70 R18s, kind of have a highway tread pattern to them. You still get these sandals in the shroud. One thing to note though, no more antennas on the vehicles. Where did they go? They went into the windshield. And now with the antennas in the windshield, you get the Corning Gorilla Glass standard on all the trim levels except Sport and Sport S. Uh, you get the Jeep climbing up the side. Still have the Torx 50 on there to let you know how to get those doors off. We actually did a demo on how to get those doors off. Here's the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not gonna go through everything, but most of it. Ford Wrangler Sahara, you get the two liter turbocharged engine, eight-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment. And then optional equipment starts with the Hydro Blue Pro Coat, which is $5.95. The Trailer Tow and Heavy Duty Electrical Group, which is $11.95, gives you the auxiliary switches, the receiver hitch, seven pin and four pin wiring harness. The Technology Group gives you the Alpine Premium Sound System, HD radio, the GPS navigation connected travel and traffic services. You connect five with the 12.3 12 .12 touchscreen display, the integrated voice command and the integrated off-road camera, which is a $2,295 option. And the Sky One Touch Power Top is $3,795. 18 by seven and a half inch aluminum wheels are $1,095 and Total MSRP is $58,595 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this Jeep. In the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to our website to this vehicle and linked in the description below. Three-year 36 bumper-to-bumper -bumper, uh, warranty and five-year 60 powertrain. 20, 20, 20 across the board for MPGs and uh, it's not rated for the government safety ratings yet. Get to that interior in just a little bit. Note that you do get the painted fenders on the back as well as this piece right here. This is what that Sky One Touch looks like from the top. This is actually a canvas piece right here. And I'll show you how that opens up in just a little bit. And then these back windows do remove. And we actually did a demo on how to take those out. And you can see that in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. Here's your receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. Good look at that tire uh, with the tread pattern there. You also get the LED lights back here. There is your bag for those side window pieces. You do get the Alpine subwoofer back here, a storage spot, as well as door hinge, roof, and windshield bolt holders. And if this was a normal hardtop, you'd have three bolts on each side 
two on the top for a total of eight bolts, take that hard top off. We did a demo on that as well. Uh, check that out in the description and the upper right hand part of the screen. Um, obviously wouldn't work on this one. Uh, you get these seven slots right there. You also get the JL badge, which is pretty cool. Two door, four door wheelbase and overall length as well as water 40 and where it was developed and built in. These back glass pieces are all the same as a normal hard top. So nothing has changed with the door or the glass hard glass piece. Get the blacked out fuel door there. And everything else pretty much the same for the 2024. This one has the enter and go system. So they have new interior for 2024. This one has the, they call it black, I call it dark charcoal, cloth interior. You get the copper stitching on there. And this one does not have the power seat. To get the power seat, you gotta get the leather, uh, but it still does have the airbags right there. Driver's seat height adjust and lumbar factory floor mats. This badge is new on the 2024s. Get the Wrangler and Gladiator back to back. Auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power locks, power mirrors. Still has power windows, obviously. Hop inside, take a look at the instrument cluster, and then we'll check out that all new radio. You can always tell if it's got the Gorilla Glass. You get the Gorilla right there. And you can see you get the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer. Everything's the same on the instrument cluster as the 2023s. Leather wrap steering wheel. I will say that the steering wheel feels like a more soft touch leather. Maybe it's just cause it's brand new and I haven't been in a 2023 in a little bit, but feels different. The leather feels different. Cruise controls. This one has adaptive cruise controls. I think adaptive cruise control is gonna be standard across the board. Uh, pretty soon here on the Wranglers. It's already standard across the board on the Grand Cherokees. Bluetooth and information center controls on the left and audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. And here is the Uconnect 5 12.3 inch radio. You get the factory navigation system on this radio. So this is going to be the standard radio across all the trim levels. Not all of them though are going to come with nav. Uh, that's going to be an, the only option between the radios is either you get this radio without nav or with nav. Um, so that's kind of interesting. You also have your home screen. You have AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. There are all your input options. You have your climate controls here, including your heated seats, heated steering wheel controls, and your dual climate controls there as well. Um, all your different apps. This one has off-road pages. We'll get to those in a second. So you have media, comfort, nav, phone, vehicle, uh, off-road pages. You can check out the back out, backup cam. You can check out your front cam and they've made those like super crystal clear HD cameras. So it's really nice. You can see exactly what's going on behind you and in front of you. Those grid lines are dynamic. So as you turn the steering wheel, they move with the steering wheel to show you kind of where your tires are going to be going if you're on a trail or something, which is pretty neat. And uh, then the off-road pages. You get your steering angle, whether the transfer case is locked or unlocked, latitude, longitude, altitude, accessory gauges, pitch and roll, and you're back to your front camera and your rear camera. So all that stuff. And then here are your other apps. And that's everything. Uh, the other thing to note that's different is the on the Saharas, you get this cloth dash trim with the copper stitching. And uh, I think... Maybe if you get the leather seats, this will turn to leather. Um, we haven't got one in yet, so I'm patiently waiting. This is different up here. You get the vents underneath the radio as opposed to the circle vents around the radio on the, old, on the 2023s. Down here, all the instrument clusters are all the same. Climate controls, start, stop, stability control, select speed, crawl control, USB, USB-C, AUX jack, four auxiliary upfit switches. That's part of the trailer tow package, 4x4 shifter, 8-speed automatic transmission. You still get the Jeep on the top there, and the key fobs have not changed. Still get remote start and the flipper key on there. The other big thing that has changed for 2024 on the Wranglers 
is they come standard with side curtain airbags now, which is a big safety feature and a big safety upgrade for the Wrangler. Um, good job, Jeep. Assistant SOS buttons, home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems, auto dimming mirror, and then here's the Sky One Touch Power Top. They call it One Touch because you press it once and it'll open right up. Now this takes about 20 seconds. We've timed it to open up and you can see how it goes like so. And obviously when you're inside of the vehicle, it's definitely a nice open air feel. And when you take those rear quarter windows off, you get an even more open air feel. So I'm gonna turn all the lights on. We're gonna check out the lights here in just a second. I wanted to show you the back seats real quick because there's one other small thing that's changed. So these back seats, uh, you get the latch child safety system. You can put the headrest down and these seats go down almost completely flat, which is really nice if you gotta haul a bunch of extra stuff. Uh, but the other thing that's changed is these uh, map lights are now separated. They used to be in a big cluster right in the middle. They are now separated. The speakers are a little bit different uh, shape and configuration. You also get map lights in the front there. Uh, that is the other thing that has changed on the Wranglers on the interior. You also get a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two USBs and two USB-Cs back here. So I'm gonna turn, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off all the lights in the room and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the front of the vehicle first. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to uh, get a really good idea of the overall look, styling and options on this particular Jeep. All right, I'm gonna turn off all the lights. We'll do a final walk around here so you can see just how bright they are. All right, you can see just how nice and bright, how good it looks. First off, those lights are really white, really a crisp look to them, but they also illuminate very nicely in front of you, a uh, wide view as well, and they are obviously extremely bright. Coming around to the back, you also get the LED tail lamps. They look great as well, and the LED license plate lights. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I can personally say I drove this Wrangler a little bit today and with that two liter and the eight speed auto this thing is very smooth and uh, surprisingly quiet i know when i've started up the two liters in the picture studio here they're kind of loud when they first start up but i drove this and it was really a quiet uh really really nice ride so i miss my wrangler so anyways, uh, thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I would highly recommend this one from a looks, styling, and options perspective. Uh, got a lot of really nice things. The sound system, the nav, the heated seats, remote start, of course, the Sky One Touch power top, and the tow package, which is really nice as well. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. To see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications. You'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. Almost 500 Wrangler walkarounds, over 8,000 videos total, and I'll uh, keep adding each and every day. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sahara four-door with the Sky One Touch power top. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.